we're using all these devices is not because you know we we all are teachers and we all can project, but we're recording all of these and we're going to post them up on YouTube. So if anybody missed them, and actually the ones from last year are still up on YouTube. We actually have an EPISD uh, TV studio channel where we have quite a bit of content. And so what we thought we would do is for people that couldn't make it here today, which I think is the majority of the EPISD, uh, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking just the majority. Um, so we're, we're posting it up. And then if you want to revisit any one of these, like say you missed something in Brian's and you're like, oh man, he said something and it's two days later and you go, oh, I wish I wrote that down. You can actually go back up to Brian's. Uh, it'll be posted up online. So our next presenter is Sharita Martin and she's going to tell you to use it or lose it. Thanks, Sharita. Use it or lose it. I'm Sherita Martin and I serve um, 11 campuses in this northeast area, all of Urban Feeder Pattern as well as Terrace Hills Middle School. And during my brief period with you this morning, I'm going to try to share some uh, tidbits, some examples, some apps that could possibly assist you when you incorporate your iPad. Some of them you'll be able to use even when you're not using the iPad. Um, you can, of course, feel free to take notes, but I promise you, before I leave, I have everything that I'm going to share with you and um, descriptions of the apps and examples on a web page. And I'll give you that link, and you can go there and download and, and enjoy, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. But you know what? I, I feel the need to give away a miniature eye device. Do you guys feel a need to maybe win one? Yeah. Hmm. How could I do that where it'll be fair to everybody? I just happen to have a spinner. Now, if you registered, and if you were registered by Saturday morning early when I typed all these names in, your name is here. If you didn't get a chance, I apologize, but I'm going, is that fair? Yes. All right, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Kim, uh, well, sorry, Maria. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, come on down, Kim. I have your miniature. I, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Maria. Because look, it doesn't, I can shake this. It's, it's where it ends. Maria, you have won a miniature I device. It's Thank a min it's an action eraser, but and you have to use your own. <laughs> yeah. But it is it's the shape of a, an iPhone. Let's let's just show everybody. All right. She has to use her own uh, oh, plug-in. Okay. This. You like this? If you like this, by the way, this is called Decide Now. There is a free version. There's a paid version. I paid for this so I could add all your names. Okay. But you could get the same. Um, in fact, with just you using um, the, the free version. I like to use this in class because I can remember at Burgess when I'd call on a student to come up to, to work a problem. Oh, miss, why are you calling on me? Why are you picking on me? But when I would randomly select them from my computer or my graphing calculator, it was all good. So with that said, I thought I'd share uh, a random selector with you today, OK? Again, all of that information will be on our site, and you can download that. The next thing I'd like to share with you, uh, a second grade teacher, I had an opportunity to work with her a lot this, this, um, this year, and she used quite a bit of apps. She had a class set of iPads, so I actually saw the, the students using it there. And one she shared with me is called Trading Cards. Okay, so let me get this back up here. It's called trading cards, just like you know how we used to have the little football cards, basketball cards. And what she did with this, her second graders would read a story, and when she wanted them to explain what they read, what she did, she had this app loaded on all of the iPads, and they would go in, and I'm going to just quickly go through the step of creating one so you can see how it looks here. You have your fictional, real um, vocabulary, and let's just take a quick look at um, the fictional person here. We can go in here, we can type a topic. She would probably have them put the, um, the title of a story. Next. 
in the little black area there, the space, it would have a pointer there. Anyways, she, could, she would have them to go to the story and maybe pick a character and take a picture of it. And I'm going to do that because we have a character right here, Mr. Hope. Click. Okay. Oops. He just turned off my machine. Uh, let's do this right here. I'm going to use it. Not, and we can resize that, okay? Put it in here, maybe one of the characters. Yeah, we could do that, but I need. Um, anyways, we could put the background, the source, we could go on, and we could turn it around and they can continue to add information. Um, I like this because I think right out of the chute, first year of school, maybe let the students know, especially if you have a class set and you plan on using this, how important it is that they respect what they're doing. Maybe this could be, and also, correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember doing this the first day of school, gathering information, their names, their numbers, uh, something they did in the summer. Maybe use this tool instead of maybe writing it all down and have them to uh, plug in the information here because I could uh, save it on their iPad, okay? Save it there, save it to the uh, photo on, on their iPad. Now you're saying, well, how do I get all of that? I have 23 students. Well, I'm glad you asked that because there is a way that I can go to, to the, the iPad with using another app, send it to my computer and have all of their information in one spot on my computer. And let me just share that with you here. It is called Wi-Fi Album. Wi-Fi album. All of this, again, will be on that, uh, that page, I promise you. But let me just demonstrate real quickly, because I have some um, photos on this iPad. I'm going to show you how I can pull them real quickly on my computer, or Brian's computer. All right, so I've downloaded this app on my iPad. It works on the iPhone as well, and that's great, because I have about 500 pictures I need to get off of this instead of emailing it one at a time. So uh, Wi-Fi album. I'm going to go ahead and, and run this, all right? And if you would just, yes, I'm not tethered anywhere. There's um, an address here. This one is 10.8, blah, blah, blah. If you do this at home, of course, it's going to change. And you might not be able to read this very well because the way they designed this page, this little leaf is in the way. But if you look right here, it's very clear. So I'm going to put this on the computer here. Just happened to have that saved, okay. I'm at the page already. All of this is free, this is free. I'm gonna go ahead and open up. Here are all the pictures that are on. Oh. Here are all the pictures that are on my iPad and I can go down and zip it and download them in bulk or I can download them one at a time. Do you think this may be beneficial, especially for those of you who are already using your iPad instead of emailing it one at a time? Well, use it or maybe lose your pictures, okay? All right, so go ahead and minimize that. Another little activity that I think I would probably use on the first day of school to get students familiar with using their iPads as a scavenger hunt. Um, and I just happen to have one it's an example here. Let me go here quickly. And the reason I would use this, if I can get there. Is it showing up there? Oops. Sorry about that. It looks a little bit different on my, on my computer. There you go. OK. And this is the link that I'll give you, OK? Uh, dealing with iPad management here. I have first day of school, perhaps use a, a little scavenger hunt. This is a, a, an activity, and it's going to be there, and you can download it. And this simply to get students familiar with certain things, like how to turn it on, maybe how to find the name of the iPad, um, how to um, bookmark uh, an address to, the, to your uh, desktop or the home page of your iPad. OK? I will give you. As a matter of fact, let me just go ahead right now and give you that address because some of you may think I might forget. I won't. Let's get back to here. And here it is. Go ahead. I'll give you a minute or so 
to uh, write that down, tinyurl.com, Martin DS. We'll go to that, and I'll show you exactly how to find what we're looking for. Okay, got it? All right, I'm going to go there right now. Actually, this is the web page that I maintain for the schools I serve. But what I did here, keep looking over here. On your iPad, it's showing up. I put Summerfest. If you click on here, this will get you into where all of these apps that I'm talking about today are going to be stored. Okay. If you're on the computer, it looks a little bit different, all right? But that is the address that where you're going to find all of the apps. As a matter of fact, let me scroll up. As you can see, I have them listed here. I have some examples. If you tap on this little link here, here's that spinner. This will take you out to where it is so you don't have to try to Google or search for it. And it gives you a little description of what it's about. All right. The next tool that, um, as a matter of fact, the teacher shared this one with me also. I like this because you guys are the ones who are actually using it. And if you're using it, obviously it's working for you. And this one is a seating chart. And it's called Smart Seat. I'm going to go ahead and, and use this. And I know right now some of you may be saying, well, I have that on my grade book. OK, that's great. Uh, but you don't have to log in or go in and get this. This could be on your iPad. You could be mobile. And you could also, and I will show you that uh, in just a moment. These are some people from a writing uh, curriculum group that I'm working with this summer. And they allowed me to uh, take their picture. Let me just tap on Bill here. There he is. He want, he's a nerd. He wanted to demonstrate that, he said. But at any rate, as you can see here, I can attach notes. I could have the attendance. And I could export that in an email and just send it directly to their parents. OK? Let me get out of here. Now, let me show you this, which I really like this. I could change the layout, add, delete students if I wanted to. Done with that. Let's say I want to add a class, especially high school, because you have six or seven. You don't have to sit here and type them on the iPad. You can actually import a text file. And I just happen to have your name, 64 of you, who were registered. And I am going to uh, go ahead and do that. I email the file to myself. Let me go here. There you are. Oops. If I tap on my attachment, as you can see down here, it says open in smart seat. And I say yes. Populated just like that in the seating chart. OK? Chart options. You could use the picture or not. You could um, email a PDF, which I kind of like this. Let's say you're absent, going to be absent. You have your iPad at home. Your substitute, well, you don't know what it may be. You need them to have a seating chart with your students, OK? Because they can't necessarily get into your team's account. You could go ahead and do an email with the, with the chart and send it to a colleague. And they could possibly print it out for you and have it available for that substitute. It's just a thought. You know, use it or you lose it. I have uh, another one here. Again, this one was shared with me by a teacher last week. And it is called Bang Buzzer for making students you know, um, take responsibility while they're working individually or in groups. Set a timer here. Let's see. Let's see if we can hear the, volume, the sound on this one. Four seconds. OK, it has several different um, <laughs> sounds on the bottom here, OK? Uh, some of which you would have to pay for if you wanted them, or you can just use the basic free ones. But this, we could have it in front of the class. You know, they're working in their groups. They're, they're monitoring their times, keeping them on task, because every minute does count in that classroom. All right? And that one is called um, the bang buzzer. Again, it's on that site. All right? Now, I've seen this one, and, and this one was shared also by um, 
Schuster Elementary, when we had our little tech bites on Friday afternoons, 3.30 to 4.30, they won at that time. I, I know, it's like Friday, 3.30, 4.30, but they shared a lot of apps. And one of them, which many of them have on their, their cell phone, and it's called Groovy Grader. Groovy Grader. Are you guys familiar with this one? As you're grading those papers, you know, so you don't have to think, not that you couldn't calculate it like that, because you guys are teachers, and obviously you can do that. But you can program this. You can change it. Here it has 40 questions. You could type, change that to, well, I don't know, 65. And then it will tell you if they miss two, blah, 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 so on and so forth. And it does work on uh, the iPhone, you know, if you can download it that. That one is called Groovy Grader, just to kind of save yourself um, some time. Have you even ever thought about maybe having that? Do you still use that little one that's printed out? Uh-huh. So you like that, huh? Okay. Don't worry. I still have mine so I can just kind of, you know, keep it in the archives. Uh, it's falling apart, but it's all good. All right. Groovy grader. Now, making students accountable, again, as they're working. And, and, they, and by the way, let me back up a little bit. When we are using the iPads or we have assigned an assignment, First and foremost, we need to make sure they know why we're using this this day. Not just to play, not just to search the internet, unless that's your objective. But make sure they know why, that there's a product. Now, while they're busy in doing all this, watching the time, seeing how much time they have for each activity, sometimes it gets a little noisy, right? But not all noise is bad. Some we can't hardly tolerate, but I have an app for that to kind of monitor. Now, when I put this up here, I would like for you guys to make some noise and see what happens, OK? All right, you ready? OK, they're working. Oh, OK, OK, OK. That's, now, this, <laughs> this could possibly assist in your class. I, I think students would like it. Well, maybe when you first put it up there, they might just test it. And so you got to be prepared for that, you know, if they're going to yell and whatever and not write them up right away. Just, just give them a few minutes and, and they'll be okay. But I kind of I kinda like that. That might be useful here. Okay. This one is called, let me go back there, Too Noisy. And, it, and again, it's on that site and it's a little description for, for each one of them. And I went ahead and put the link for you guys so that you wouldn't have to Google. You can go right to that. And feel free to leave a comment or, or so if you'd like on that site. It's all good. All right? All right. Let me go ahead. Do you like that one? All right. OK. Thumbs up. Uh, let's take a look. I got a few minutes here because I had quite a few I'd like to share. This one, Story Kit. Now, you have your students to write, right? Uh, yeah, um, and what? And, and actually, I brought this from my son. This is what they did at the end of the year. You know, a little memory book, and they have little autographs and all that in here, right? That's great. He doesn't even know I have it. Probably won't know where it is. Uh, but, and that's great. You can also, since you have this device, maybe have them to do one electronically. OK? Let me just real quickly, for sake of time, show you one that I went ahead and created. Because in here, you can write, you can do text, voiceover. It's, it's really neat. And this one is free. So I have one, my 2013, 20, actually, that's next year. But anyways, this, this past year, I, I put the wrong year. This app happened. Um, I put my memories. I put the author. And there, I have the correct year. I'm going to go ahead and read it. But as you can see here, I could do edit. I could share it. Let's do read it, see what happens here. OK, I'm going to read. Here, I put my voice. And you see the little speaker down here? So I'm going to go ahead and press it, see if you can hear that. Cat and the hat reads with the principal at Schuster Elementary. Did you hear a little bit of that? Basically, they can voice over that if they want. This is actually, that's me, with the principal at Schuster. We're reading. All right, next one. I just kind of scribbled there just so you could see they could write freehanded. Uh, and that's me again in the middle of all those second graders. That was our culminating event uh, with a project that we worked on for about three months. Here's a field trip to Waco Tanks. OK? You see how we can pop those pictures in there? They can even draw. But this is also a memory book. Um, this second grade class wins a party 
from uh, the UTEP girls basketball team, and I just happened to be there, and they bought pizza. It was pretty neat, and so was Pay Dirt Pete. Autographs, just like right here. They can go around and get autographs and signatures right here and save it. So it's just an alternative. I'm not trying to tell you what to do in your class, because clearly you guys are the professionals. You know what you're doing, and you probably have some other um, techniques and strategies. But these are just some that I thought I'd share with you that could possibly save you some precious time, especially since we're getting thousands of these little iPads in our district. Okay, let's see. And pretty much I have 40 seconds left and right on time. Do I need to put that um, email, I mean, I'm sorry, that URL back up there for anybody? Yeah. I will do that. Let me do that right now. I happen to make, there it is, I made it a, can you see it here? And I will also give you my email address, so if you have a question about one of those while you're working, feel free to email me. I will respond. May I take this off? And I'm going to put my email address. Yes? Okay. I'm going to, where did I put it? Right here. Sharita, S.L. Martin, episd.org. Okay. Uh, there's a bell. Thank you so much. <laughs>